Okay, so I've got two main goals today. I found a awesome abandoned golf course on Google Earth, and I also found this sweet new trail that I'm going to check out with this bike right here. So this is the AdMotor Moton M60 electric bike. This is uh, one of the newer ones that I've gotten and I'm about to test it out here, take it for a quick ride, go exploring. This thing has a 48 volt, about a 499 amp hour battery right there in the middle. It's got front suspension, Mozo, 100 millimeters of travel. It does have preload adjust and lockout, integrated light, top speed of 20 miles per hour with a 500 watt motor in the back here, 80 newton meters of torque. It does have a 12 magnet cadence sensor right here, which is really, really accurate. And I will show you guys just how um, sensitive and responsive this motor is here, or this uh, cadence sensor is in just a few minutes. And there's also a throttle up here on the top which is awesome because it can override the cadence or the pedal assist. And of course we have the control center right up here. So let's take this thing for a ride and I'll show you this bike in action. So I'm a little nervous about going to this golf course because it is abandoned and I'm pretty sure it's like technically off limits. Oh, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the gate is already open here. Okay, let's just see. Okay, well, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is pretty sweet though. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is dope. This is dope. Oh, it's open. Okay, so I'm legit gonna try to be kind of quiet here because I did see some people um, as I was coming in. But I really want to explore this thing right here. Look. Okay, I wanna go inside. Hello? Hello? Anything in here? Anything interesting? No? Okay. Maybe we can turn the air on. What else we got? Nothing, it's been cleaned out. All right, we gotta find somewhere else to explore. Okay. All right, so just to show you guys, I've been using here, I'm using the headlight. Um, like I mentioned, this headlamp is attached um, to the bike. It's integrated, it's actually pretty powerful. It works pretty well and <laughs> as you can see it's actually using this thing to explore so all right i'm gonna see what else there is around here okay check this out dude this is like a haunted mansion hello let's angle this thing down a little bit get some light in here okay hello Keep going. See if we can ride this thing a little bit in here. Oh, spooky. Legit cannot see in here. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh, this is sweet. What is this place? Wait, which way did I come in? 
Oh my god, I'm lost. Oh my god. Wait, I come in this way? Oh my god. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, oh wait, this is... Okay, wow, this is the exit. I'm dumb. Next place I'm going to, on Google Earth, it looks like it's a really hilly area. So this should be a good hill climb and a good example of this 500 watt motor and how powerful it is. Because what's cool about this motor, something a little bit different is like, this motor is a 500 watt, again, 80 Newton meters of torque hub motor. It's a geared hub motor. Now, those specs aren't, you know, unique, but what's interesting about this motor is it feels like it's custom wound, it's custom geared. This thing kind of tops out at 17 miles an hour. So, the, you know, technically this thing goes up to 25, but I can't get it past 17 miles an hour. And to me, it feels like this thing just winds out at that speed. So the, the bad news about that is it doesn't go that fast, but the good news is the hill climb potential and the torque and the low and the mid RPMs is really, really good. So hopefully you'll be able to see that here in just a second. Not going that fast, only about nine miles an hour, but I am full bore on the throttle right now. I'm in first gear. I am pedaling a little bit to help out. This is steep. Ooh, and there's bumpies. And this is gravelly terrain, which, you know, most bikes would kind of struggle with this, but because of the four inch fat tires here, this thing actually handles it really well. Ooh, okay. You can also air these tires down um, all the way down to 5 PSI to get an even wider tire patch here. I don't think I need to do that, but I could. Oh, if I wanted to. Here we go. Keep going. <laughs> oh, that's bumpy. Yeah, woohoo! Okay, so that was a pretty good hill climb. Um, I'm a little shocked that it made it up that hill. It was pretty steep, pretty difficult terrain, really gravelly, loose stuff. I think a lot of electric, electric bikes would not have made it, but again, the fat tires on this, that custom wound motor, I'm pretty sure it's custom wound, um, gives it a lot of extra torque, so I was able to climb that with just a little bit of assist for me. And look at where I got to. Check this out. What a view. Look at this out there. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty high up here, guys. This is one of the highest spots around. So, yeah, this has been really fun. Uh, there's a water tower out there or something. There's one last thing I want to check out before we close out this video.
Okay, well, I made it to this tower. I really don't know what it is. Maybe a radio tower or something. I can hear some whirring noises. I mean, do you guys know what this is back here? If you do, leave it in the comments. Check this out, this is what we got. Yeah, no idea. Maybe radio tower? You guys tell me. But that is pretty much it, guys, uh, for this little adventure video slash review. A few quick more points about this bike, the AdMotor uh, Moton M60, is this thing is really, I think, a great bike for uh, kind of going through the city, going through town, maybe a little bit of off-road stuff like this, but because of this non-adjustable saddle height, um, really like I you can't get a whole lot of pedal power out of this thing you just you can't get a full stroke out of it So it's really kind of like more like a scooter where I'm relying on the throttle instead of pedaling I mean I can pedal just not very well So if you're looking for a bike that is fun overall looks cool can go off-road and is actually really comfortable This is probably the one for you. So hope you guys dug this have a great day, and I will catch you all next time